onto healthcare, where the GS1 data matrix has been adopted as the primary data carrier for pharmaceuticals and medical devices in many parts of the world, providing a compact way to convey information, including product identification, the GS1 GTIN, the batch lot number, serial number, and expiry date. Solution provider Zoom showed their Zoom Pharma app that reads a UPC EAN or a GS1 data matrix and gives the patient an electronic information leaflet for that item. If available, the information is presented in the patient's language. If not, they're given the list of languages in which the leaflet is available. To clarify, there's no web URL in a GS1 data matrix. It's the app that creates the relevant web address following the GS1 digital link standard. On to point of sale. A POS scanner from DataLogic scanned the products that were labeled at the start of the session. A traditional barcode, a GS1 data matrix, and a QR code carrying a GS1 digital link URL. As with the handheld scanner, the output of the POS scanner was exactly the same as it is today, so no need to change any back-end systems. The total time taken to update the scanner to work with GS1 Digital Link was 30 minutes. Finally, a little consumer interaction. Everyone was invited to scan the QR code generated at the start of the session, the same one scanned by the handheld and POS scanners. Without using any speciality app at all, attendees received a product information page on their smartphones. Using a sample app, it's possible to scan the same data carrier and receive more specific information about the product, in this case, a recipe idea. The demonstration proved a number of points. First and foremost, GS1 Digital Link works. Supply chain operations, point of sale and consumer interactions can all be supported by a single barcode that contains GS1 identifiers. All the participants reported that they secured immediate high-level support for GS1 Digital Link in their companies. The effort required to update barcode generation and scanning software was minor, and printers are ready to go without any modification. The Zoom app required one person about one week for development. GS1 is working with industry partners to develop a strategy for the future of on-pack labelling. While the outcome of that work is not yet known, the demonstrations and discussions in Denver underscore that GS1 Digital Link is going to be a big part of the future AIDC story.